Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to In the Greenhouse with Orchid Supply Store. My name is Ken, and I'll be your host today. So, first off, remember to get your comments in for the, the uh, birdhouse and the mount. Just a couple more days left, and I want you to uh, have a chance, so subscribe leave a comment and let me know would you like a birdhouse or a mount and that will be announced uh, late friday friday the 13th so maybe this will be your lucky friday the 13th okay what we're going to do today is is a little bit different um normally all you get to see is is my beautiful face showing you the uh, green plants in the greenhouse and i'm looking back at it and uh, i think to myself gee that can get boring i mean all you see is the same old plants uh, some of them may have blooms most of them do not and you get to see me unbox you know, some uh, a new shipment of green plants and that are going on the shelf but there's more that that goes on yeah, in the company than just here inside the greenhouse so today i'm going to take you on a journey and i'm going to show you a, a a few things that we do um as most of you probably know uh, i work out of my house uh my my basement is where we work there are currently four of us that work full-time and one part-time and and we do a host of, of things uh so you know not not only do we ship orchids uh of course the, the the name of the business is orchid supply store we have all of the supplies you know we have the pots we have the baskets we have the the bark and the moss and and everything in between and because I, we work out of my house uh, I, I have a limited space uh, my basement is is fairly large it's just about 2,000 square feet uh, but that's nowhere near enough to store everything that we need uh, so we use about half of the the basement as storage uh, the other half is is what we work out of. I use my garage as storage. Haven't been able to put my car in the garage in a, in years uh, because it's completely filled. Uh, in addition to that, we have two separate locations of off site off site storage. Uh, at one location, we have two units. Uh, the units are 15 by 20 in size. At the second location, we have two units, and these units are 15 by 40 in size, and they are packed. Uh, in addition to the storage units, we store some things in the yard of my son-in-law's business which is a, a, a lawnmower shop uh, that that is where we unload things because we have a forklift there so we unload all of the pallets there uh, occasionally we leave it there until we need it uh, and and then we will load a pallet at a time or a few bags at a time uh, onto trucks our pickup trucks and either take them to the storage units for long-term storage or bring them here to the house workplace you know, when they're ready to ship. So what you're going to get to see today is some of that. You know, we're going to take a road trip and have uh, let you have a, a, a look-see at where, how, what we do. So I hope you enjoy this journey. Uh, if you do, you know what to do. Yeah, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, 
subscribe so you can come back and, and see what else we do. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. And that's what we're going to do today. We will do this again, so you come back now. Now, most of you know that I work out of my house, um, the basement of my house. Uh, we have uh, about 2,000 square feet in the basement, and this is what the front of the house looks like. And we'll move around to the back uh, in, in just a minute. But uh, this is what I see every day. Now, the one thing I do want to start with is uh, a couple of shots of inside the house. And of course, we have to go through Boots the Guardian. And what we're seeing here is our entrance foyer. Uh, my wife has uh, just a couple of orchids uh, sitting out uh, on display uh, as you walk in our front door. Uh, first thing you see on the right side is this uh, array of uh, orchids and uh, we, we try to keep this updated and, and replaced as often as possible. And here I have a couple of vandas that I borrowed from the greenhouse. Uh, this is hanging on our bar uh, on, on the counter and it, it's just a, a look at a couple of the things that we do have and uh, so that these are for sale and the first thing i want to show you is a typical day's worth of shipping you know these are the boxes that will be going out to the post office and ups and as I said in the beginning is sometimes we have to go get things and here is Randy and Nick. Randy's on the left, Nick is on the right. Nick is my oldest grandson. So they're going to load up and go to I, th I think uh, both storage facilities and get some items. And we'll ride along, you know, to see exactly where they go and what they get. And as you see here, there's a winding driveway that goes around my house, comes up from the back you know, toward the front, and here comes Nick and Randy. And as they go further along, you know, they're going up you know, to, uh, to to get on the street and go to the storage facilities and here we are in Nick's truck uh, it's a GMC Sierra uh, I'm not sure how old it is it's maybe two years old really a nice truck I love, love the GMC trucks but uh, as as you uh, ride along with us you know we're just going down the street uh, hopefully he knows where we're going today I think he does. He goes all the time. So we're just riding along and looking at the scenery, which we can't see out of the windshield right now. But let me see if I can get a better, better shot out of the windshield. And uh, you can see, you know, where we're going and what it looks like. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit because you don't really care exactly, you know, where we're going and what the street looks like and it can take entirely too long. So we're just zipping down the road now. Uh, <laughs> I actually showed this to my wife earlier and she says, oh my God, why does Nick drive so fast? And I said, hey, yeah, he, he's only 22 years old and you expect him to drive fast. But of course it's sped up a little bit. Okay, here we are arriving at the storage facility number one. We have two uh, uh, units at, at this location, and we have a, ver a variety of things in it. I think they're only going to get one box, so I'm not really going to show them getting the, the one box you know, because how exciting can that be? You know, just you know, picking up a box and putting it in the truck. But they got it, and they're now heading 
out of here and going someplace else. Okay, the next place you know, that we're going is what we call our warehouse. Uh, this is my son-in-law's business. Uh, he owns Absolute Mower, you know, which is a lawnmower shop. And this is where we have all of the semi-trailers bring our stuff because we have a forklift here. And I think uh, Nick and Randy need to pick up several things here. Uh, I know they need some uh, mushroom compost and we'll see what else they get. Uh, as you see here, we do have several pallets. I think there's uh, probably four here right now of the Orchiata bark. Uh, the, the company puts like 65 or 70 bags on uh, each pallet, so that gives you a sense of how many we have here. Uh, yeah, what they're getting is the uh, black cow mushroom compost. And I know we've got two other pallets of the, the same stuff. Uh, this stuff is, is so heavy, uh, I'm the only one that, that dares to put a whole pallet on the truck. My truck is an older truck and it carries a little bit more. And, and I'll sit the whole thing on my truck because it, it weighs about 18, 1900 pounds. And Nick doesn't want to put it on his truck. And, and my son, Scott, you know, he's got a D4 truck. He doesn't like to put that much weight on his truck either. And okay, the, these boxes, uh, uh, this is the five pound, four pound bag of black cow, uh, cow manure. Uh, there's, I think there's 10 packages per box. So each of those boxes weigh somewhere between 40 and 50 pounds. And uh, they, they may have picked up a couple of other things. Okay, so once they get that loaded, they're finished here. And I'm guessing we're going to be off to storage facility number two. And we just get it loaded. And as I wait a minute, they are driving off. So we'll see you at the next location, which is storage facility number two. And here we are at number two, and there comes Nick and Randy. And uh, so as they pull up, uh, we, we get a, a good look at the front of his truck. And like I said, I love these GMC trucks. That's what I have. Uh, I have an older one, yeah, but the, these, in my opinion, these GMCs are the best truck you know, on the market. Uh, okay, they, they're they gonna get several things here, so they're taking the the uh, uh, hand trucks with them. I don't know exactly what they're getting. Um, actually, this is the first time I've been to this uh, facility since uh, we have the second unit. Uh, I've only seen the first unit, so I don't even know what's in you know, the, the second unit. So this is gonna be a surprise for me uh, as well as it is for you. And uh, this is a climate controlled uh, facility. Uh, the great thing about this is when it's 95 degrees outside, you can come in here and work and pick up things and it's air conditioned so you don't have to, to be out in, in the uh, extreme heat. Okay, both of these units are 15 feet by 40 feet. They're double units, uh, twice the size as the units over at facility number one. And as you see, we have just a couple of boxes in here, uh, 40 feet uh, times three rows. And uh, uh, all of this is toys. Uh, this is our, uh, it's actually our parent company, uh, Collectors Online Market. Uh, is our parent company and we sell toys and 
uh, gaming equipment and sports cards and uh, things like that. Uh, we also have some pots there, so you know, we've got a few pots stored in this, uh, this unit also. But uh, as you can see, we've got uh, just one or two boxes in, and uh, this is what we, we put on uh, Amazon and on eBay and occasionally on Walmart. And we're building our own um, site you know, to, to sell this just as we do on the Orchid Supply Store. Uh, it'll be called Collectors Online Market. And you'll be able to go there and, and get not only the latest and greatest toys, but we, we pride ourselves in having older, out of date toys that you can't get at a, a retail store any longer. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, just recently, within the last two or three weeks, uh, we made a purchase of a Barbie collection. Uh, there was a gentleman in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, that uh, his wife had passed away you know, not too long ago. And she collected Barbies, uh, he said, for about 30, 35 years. And she had several, and he doesn't did not have any children, and he doesn't care anything about the Barbies. So we bought the Barbies. Um, I think it was 1,550 Barbies and about 150 Barbie ornaments. And so as we see what's in the second unit, again, it's just stacked you know, floor to ceiling with toys. Funko is, is a very, very popular toy right now. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're basically bobbleheads, uh, but it's the Funko Pop. Uh, the, that right there, those green things, that's, that's uh, um, trailers and you know, the, the trailers that we sell on the website so we, we keep a little bit of everything here and so that's what we're getting there okay, let's move around to the uh, the working area of the basement and we'll start taking a look here just uh, just some of the, the toys and I think of, uh, something else here we're back in the basement uh, of my house and this is the storage section uh, of the basement. Uh, we use about a thousand square feet you know, for storage. Uh, the smaller boxes, you know, the bigger boxes goes in the storage facility. And as you see, we have uh, a, a few uh, boxes of toys. Uh, they're, they're labeled so we know what's in them. Uh, we, we have uh, just box after box after box of the Funko uh, because that is a tremendously good sell, uh, selling item. So, you know, we, we have a, a lot of that. And as I scan down through here, you, you can see all of those uh, are labeled uh, with, a, with a white label and written on it what it is. Uh, here in the basement, we have shelves that, that, that go wall to wall and three shelves high. So we've got a bottom, middle, and top shelf so we can get a tremendous uh, volume of boxes you know, right here in the basement. And that way we don't have to run into storage to find something because it's right here uh, at our fingertips and, and it's ready to go. So uh, this is one section and I'll round the corner and show you a second section. of uh, storage and as you see here yeah. floor to ceiling and wall to wall uh, of boxed toys uh, now now these are brand new uh, most of them have never been taken out of the well none of them have ever been taken out of the case 
but we do things a little different. Okay, I had to replace some batteries. Everything seems to go dead, you know, when you least expect it. But uh, what I was uh, getting ready to say is what we do on the toys is we will buy the new toys. You know, when they come out, they go into storage, go on the shelf, and we don't touch them for at least three years. Uh, that way, three years from now, we uh, put them out for sale. No one else has them. Yeah, so we're the only ones that have them, and, and by doing that, we get a little bit better price. Uh, so we've been doing that now for about 10 years, and it seems to work out very well for us. Okay, so that's what this blank space is, so I can do that. Now, what I'm going to do is move back around to the front of the house, and you see we have Orchiata Bark sitting here on the outside. Uh, which is not normally here and the reason it's here today is Scott wanted to do some cleaning you know, before bad weather and, and the cold got here so he completely emptied the garage and and cleaned it uh, it's the first time the floor has been cleaned probably in nine months so we, we try to do this at least once a year because it, it does get uh, disorganized and, and very dirty And as we go around, you see, we even have shelves here in the garage for storage. And uh, uh, that way we, we can, we utilize every bit of space that we can. Okay, so Scott got everything cleaned and he's moved everything back into the garage. And here you can see uh, how much he had or, or how much we have uh, of the, the blue bag there is a tree fern. Uh, we have uh, packing peanuts up on top, and over here and around the side, we have the Orchiata bark, and these are stacked extra high uh, because we wanted to get as many in here as we could. Uh, this doesn't come through the door this way. Uh, we actually have to bring in a shorter pallet and then unload and stack you know, to, to make it taller. But uh, this is the way that we store the Orchiata bark and, and a few other bagged items uh, in my garage. Okay, then lastly, uh, we have my son-in-law's business. The, the name of it is Absolute Mower. It is a lawnmower shop. He sells Snapper. He sells uh, Sudgy Bobcat. He sells uh, something else. Uh, I don't know what all he sells. Red, Red, uh, Red Max. Got a sign there on the wall. Uh, he uh, is the the only major uh, uh, store like this in Noonan, and that's where we're located. And he has everything. Yeah, so he has uh, the, the blowers and the saws and the trimmers. And if you have any uh, need for maintenance, yeah, you know, that's what he does. Yeah, you know, he he runs a full service maintenance shop uh, here at Absolute More. So I think that's going to be it today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, road trip and looking at everything. Remember the giveaways. You've got to enter your comments. See you.